What's going on? It's the Blues Men of MLM coming at you, and uh, I want to shoot out this quick video uh, that's actually going with my blog post. If you're on YouTube, just click the link below, and it'll take you to the uh, post uh, to give you some more read, okay? Uh, and if you're on my blog post, then yeah, uh, thanks for visiting my blog and uh, checking out how to build your downline, all right? Um, and, you know, there's plenty of ways how to build your downline in, in the network marketing business model and uh, multi-level marketing business model, all right? Um, but I want to cover one one aspect, and that's teaching your leaders how to lead, okay? And that's going to build your downline real fast if you kind of pl uh, apply what I'm teaching you here, okay? Um, and what what the blues man, what is he, what am I covering, okay? Well, why do we need leaders anyway? Can you do everything on your own? Can you build a, a, a downline of 10,000 people and, uh, you know, 20,000 people, 60,000 people by yourself? I don't think so. Unless you're like Jimi Hendrix that got resurrected, that joined a new company and <laughs> that's getting people left and right. I don't think it's going to happen. Might, but um, pretty, the odds are it's not going to happen. So, all right. So what else are we covering? Finding the leaders in your team. Okay. Uh, I'm not talking about finding leaders, uh, recruiting leaders or sponsoring leaders in your company. That's another uh, training tip or training post that I'll be doing soon. Uh, so come back to my blog. Uh, always visit it. I post usually daily, about six times a week. So awesome training. So definitely come back on that. Um, we'll talk about the three groups, which I'll get into later, which is very important. And once we find leaders in your team, um, you know, what exactly, you know, what are we going to teach your leaders on, on how to lead? You know, we got to teach your new leaders how to lead. And we're going to do a wrap-up and a little bonus at the end. All right, guys? So let's get into it. So why do we need leaders anyway? All right? Can you do everything on your own? Let me ask you this question. Can you build a team of 10,000 people alone? No friggin' way can you do that, all right? It's impossible. Like I said, unless you're Jimi Hendrix that just got resurrected and, uh, you know, starting, you know, joins a network marketing company <laughs> and uh let's say their products guitar or blues or whatever right? rock um guitar strings whatever um even if he probably joined up in uh in like a juice company or whatever uh he'd probably be able to sponsor 10,000 people within like a week so um but that's not gonna happen to you okay you know why because we need more leaders so you have more time so you can leverage okay the more leaders we have the more you could leverage the bigger um, results we'll have. We'll, we'll create massive results in our organization the more leaders you have, okay? Um, and this is a great quote from Andrew Carnegie, and I'm going to read this twice to you because I need you to get this in your head. I would rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts, okay? Let's say that again. I would rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own. Okay, so if you have a thousand people doing the thing, one percent, that's a thousand percent. And there's no way in the world that you could put in a thousand percent every day because, first of all, you don't have the time. We only have 24 hours a day, and you need to sleep, and you need to spend time with your family, and you, you need to eat and do all those goodies. You might have to, you know, work 40 hours a week while you're doing building this business online, okay? Uh, or offline, excuse me. Um, so if you have a thousand people doing it, you got a thousand percent. If you have ten thousand people putting in one percent, you have ten thousand percent. So I would rather have one percent of a hundred people's efforts than a hundred percent of my own. Okay, uh, and 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 you're because you're only putting in everyone's putting in hundred percent, and that's how network marketing, you know, business model works. You know, you have uh, a lot of massive amount of people doing a little bit every day on a consistent basis. Okay, and that produces massive, massive results. So let's, you know, how do we find the leaders in your team? Now, I'm not going to talk about, like I said before, finding leaders in, um, you know, recruiting leaders or sponsoring leaders somewhere. And that's another training, uh, um, you know, message and tip and post I'm going to be posting later in the future. But let's let's find the leaders in your team. And if you don't have anyone in your team, I mean, this will work for one person in your team. If you just got in, you sponsored one or two, three people, five people. It'll work for if you have 100 people or 10,000 people, whatever, Okay. And if you don't have any, if you just joined maybe a network marketing company and you 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 know you're looking at how to build your downline, you found this post or found this video, um, you know bookmark this page, you know go over the information so you have it in your head, because um, this will work for one person. You know if you even have one person in your team, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, and definitely you know if you if you have a team already, send this to everyone. Uh, you know share this page and uh, let's get them on this training, okay? So. 
basically everyone in your downline has the ability to become leaders, all right? Everyone. Everyone that's born has the ability to become leaders. The question is, how many of them are ready and willing to take responsibility, all right? Well, this is how you find, this is how you find out who, okay, who's ready. Basically, in your team, you got, let's say you got five, you know, ten people on your team, let's say 20, whatever, and um, you could see who's taking that daily consistent, you know, is doing those daily consistent income producing activities for the business, okay? And that's basically prospecting, inviting, following up, and closing, okay? Getting those eyeballs and presentations, third party tools, you know, have building relationships all over the place, uh, online, offline, wherever, and people who are really taking massive action, people that are, you know, personally developing themselves, um, you know, developing themselves personally on a daily basis, consistent basis, um, those are the people that, you know, you could really hit first. Um, the people that are really, you know, engaged and active that are in the game, those are your leaders, okay? N not necessarily, they don't have to, you know, sponsor 100 people. You know, you know oh, I got to wait for my first leader to come in and he's got to sponsor 10 people. No, it's not about that. You just want to find the people that are really, um, you know, engaged, and really active in, in, in the company and your team. And, uh, and you know, that's how you find out who's, who's doing the, who's doing the, uh, the daily activities, who's really consistent, and who's going to be your leaders, uh, your first couple of leaders, okay? You might have a couple of other people that just need time to grow, and that's okay. So, once you have an idea of who, um, you know, that could take on the role of being a leader, then what you want to do is you want to connect with them and let them know exactly what you're looking for, okay? You, you know, you're looking for people in your downline to be leaders, okay? Tell them what you, you know, what you want, and 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 uh, and they'll feel honored, and I'm sure they'll feel fired up, and they'll they'll get even more pumped up because you know you guys getting together, you're masterminding, and that's what's going to create, you know, one brain, uh, five brains, or the two brains more, you know, has more effective than one, okay? Because um, everyone's adding their own uh, little bits and pieces, and uh, they'll feel, they'll feel fired up. And how you could do that is, you know, um, you know, if let's say one you're living on the uh, on the East Coast, and your you know your leader might be on the West Coast, maybe he's a cousin of yours, or you know a guy you met on Facebook, and he's in your team and he's kicking butt, um, you know, he's active. You know, you could send, you know, or you can, you have a big downline, you could send an email, all right, or you could send a video message, just, you know, post a message, you know, just to shoot a video on YouTube. If you don't like doing videos, you could do something like this, um, like a presentation kind of thing, all right, um, but just shoot a video. I mean, uh, look, everyone needs to, you know, when you want to, if you have, you guys have, you know, if you're, if you're afraid of, you know, getting on camera, uh, you just got to face that fear, kick it in its butt, and then just do it, you know. You'll get better at it. My first video was horrible, okay? Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's still it's still not perfect, so who cares? So, you know, send a vi video message just more personal. And send it to your downline, you know? you know? Post it on YouTube, you know, take the link, send it to your downline, say, hey, there's a newsletter, uh, there's important information to your downline, and let everyone know, you know, um, you know what you're looking for. You know, you might have some guys that are not really, you know, maybe they need that extra kick in the butt. You know, maybe you don't see them as a leader. Uh, maybe they're not really doing everyday uh, consistent activities, but maybe they, you know, they'll respond to your to your email um, or to your video and say, "Look, you know, I want to do this. I really want to take my business to the next step." All right. So, and tell them you're looking for three to four leaders to take responsibility, and you know, maybe you could offer them kind of like an incentive. What I mean by that is, is you could offer them some kind of, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, for like 15 minutes every week for four weeks, 30 minutes, wh whatever you could do, okay? And if you don't feel comfortable doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you don't feel it like you're a leader yourself, you know, definitely call your upline, you know? Contact the next diamond in your, in your, in your company or contact the next uh, five-star, six-star in your company. And I'm sure they'll be willing to do this because you say, look, you know, hey, Ray, uh, let's say Ray is a, you know, he's, a, he's an ambassador in your company and uh, he's a big guy. And you say, hey, Ray, you know, look, I'm looking for uh, – you know, three to four leaders in my, my downline, and, and, and I want to give them an incentive, uh, you know, because I'm looking for them, and I want them to take action, and, and an incentive would be, you know, getting them on coaching, uh, would you be willing to do that, and I'm sure he would, or she would, okay, and if they can't, they don't have the time, I'm sure that, you know, you can find someone else in, in, in the upline that'll do that for you, because, you know, your success is their success, okay, and uh, your success depends on your, your downline and your leaders as well. So I'm pretty sure that they'll do that for you, okay? Um, so get them on a call. Ask them if they could do that. Or you could, you know, buy, you know, if you're looking for three leaders, you know, buy a book. I'll mention the, uh, uh, real quick uh, surprise at the end. I'll, I'll mention a cool book on my bonus um, of, of a real good book you could give to your leaders. You know, or give maybe a personal development book or some kind of, something like that, okay? Kind of incentive. That might work. And I want to talk about the three groups now, okay? That's important. 
Now, what do I mean by the three groups? Blues man, what's going on? What's, what do you mean by the three groups? Well, I'm going to pop out of this presentation real quick. And what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about three groups, okay? So let's say this is you. All right? This is you. And you're looking for three leaders. So what you want to do is you're looking for leaders. So we, what you want you want to find your three leaders, okay? I'd pick th two or three leaders, okay? So you want to find your A. All right. Your A leader. Your B leader. And your C leader, okay? And basically what you want to do is you want to teach them how to be leaders. And we're going to get into that on the next step. And um, what they're going to do is they're going to start, you know, being leaders and taking care of this downline, okay? Their downline. They got people here, and so you got people here in the middle, you know, your downline. I'm just going to use a binary. I'm, uh, right here is the binary uh, as an example, just for instruction person only. I don't know if you matrix, whatever you guys are in, but it's the uh, it still applies to any kind of conversation plan you're in. You still want leaders. Let's say here you found your leader, and he's got his team going on. And he doesn't necessarily have to have a team, but, um, you know, you're teaching him how to lead, getting him ready, getting him. And once he's ready, you could leave it and you could leave a rein to that. To, you know, you could you could give the reins to him and say, you know what, you know, take over. You're ready. So that what that, that does is that frees you up to add a new leader, leader D. OK, so he's all ready. All right. And then you could work on these guys, okay? And let's say C's already, and he's doing it. And what's going to happen is he's got people in his downline, all right? And he's going to find his leader, okay? And they, and everyone's going to take over, okay? And and this way, doesn't nobody has to you know worry about you know taking care of um, thousands of people or hundreds of people because you got your leaders going on, okay? And with that, when when C's ready, that frees you up for what? leader E. And you just keep on doing that and creating leaders, okay? You only really need three leaders in the, um, in the network marketing. I guess it depends on what conversation plan you have, but I, I would say you don't really, really need three leaders, okay? And uh, let them start kicking butt, and then um, that leaves you free to do other things, you know, as tradings maybe for the you know the, your whole downline and stuff like that, all right? So that's basically the group. So you want to have, you know, group, uh, you know, group, three groups, A, B, and C, Teach them how to do it. We're going to show you on the next slide and uh, let them do that. Okay? So let's get out of this. Let's go back. So now we're going to learn how to, you know, teaching your leaders how to lead. So what are we going to teach them? You know, how do you teach your leaders? You know, make, you know, they're new leaders, so they're pumped up, but they don't know how to lead. So what you could do is you could start by meetings. If you guys have meetings, you're doing meetings or maybe online webinars, you could have your new leaders take a small role at team meetings and webinars. And, uh, you know, if, let's, let's say, of course, you know, one guy's on the West Coast, you're on the East Coast or whatever. You know, you could do webinars and, and have them take a small role. You know, in the beginning, and maybe, you know, they, you could also do, you know, role playing. Uh, that works definitely, you know, role play with them, and then gradually they could work up, you know, to conduct their own trainings, and that's where you want, like I said, in group A, B, and C, you want them to take over and duplicate. Everything in, in network marketing industry is about duplication, all right, by, you know, duplicating uh, third-party tools and presentations and stuff like that. Let the, let the tools do the work. Same thing, let your leaders do the work. Let them build more leaders, okay? For you to become a better leader, you need to build more leaders, Okay. So, team calls, you know, as you're making uh, coaching or team calls, you know, start by having your new leaders listen in, all right? When they feel comfortable, they can, uh, you can have them host a call. That's awesome. And you, you could listen in. And eventually, you can take over their own team calls, exactly, with the meetings and stuff like that. So, you want, you want, you want this to be, you know, rolling and rolling and frees you up, okay? So, you don't have to worry about that. And you're always going to want to have, you know, contact with your, I, I want to get back into that group real quick, because I've kind of forgot to mention this, you always want to have daily contact with your first three leaders that you have in, you know, make sure they're on the ball and they're running, all right? So, newsletters and videos, you know, if you if you create a team newsletter or video on YouTube or whatever, um, you know, to recognize your team uh, and their accomplishments, allow your new leaders to contribute it by writing a little article or, you know, shooting a video, okay? It's a great way to build their credibility, definitely, because you want to build their credibility, so, um, people in your downline look up to them as well, not just you, okay? Um, 
and uh, you know, and, and definitely the confidence, you know, and have that name recognized and exposed to the team. That's very important. So this is a biggie, all right, conflict. Um, this is one of the challenging areas when it comes to training, all right. Um, when there's a conflict within a team, it's hard for a new team leader to know how to handle it, all right, while, you know, making both sides happy, you know, both parties happy. So what I would do is, you know, offer, offer to be in a call with all the parties involved. You know, you could hear all the sides. Let everyone know on the call, all right, all the down, everyone on your team, everyone on your downline, that, you know, you need to think about it, you know, you need to think about it, and you'll have another call tomorrow, all right? Maybe there's some kind of problem going on, um, you know, uh, maybe w w some kind of, uh, the, the tool, your training tools, uh, I don't know, the CDs you got are kind of messed up, whatever, okay? So what you want to do is you want to call your new leader and ask how they would handle the situation based on the call. All right, this is awesome. So you can really, you know, talk to them, and you can run through different scenarios. All right, you could give them, you know, ask them to give their insights, you know, based on the experience, and you could give your insights based on experience. Okay, uh, and if comfortable, you could let them, you know, handle the conflict resolution call. All right, while while you're listening. Okay, uh, and that's just creating leaders. And, and and another point which I didn't put in the slide is, you know, you know, make sure they're you know, reading books, personal development books, leadership books, which I'll mention in a little bonus at the end, you know, and get them to do the daily activities and, and, and show them what they need to do to become a leader. Even if you're not a leader yourself, just by doing these little steps, you will create leaders to become a leader yourself. And that's just a big, big problem in this industry as well. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't have enough people to talk to, but it's not really about the people, okay? You always got to talk to people, and that's a skill to learn, but you need to learn how to create leaders, okay? Because you're going to have people come in, and you want to have them take action and, and, you know, and get in the game, all right? And that's very important. So here's a wrap-up, okay? Each opportunity that you give your leaders to lead increases their confidence and abilities, okay? Once they're leading their team, it gives you the opportunity to develop a new leader, like we said and mentioned in other groups, all right? So you'll be keep on, you know, it'll just keep on rotating. You'll keep on creating new new leaders, and, and that's what you want. You want that, that rotating effect, okay? And never... Be afraid handing over the reins to a new leader. It's good for both of you, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to, you know, just give it all to him. I'm scared, you know, I might mess it up. No, let him do it. Once he's ready or her, let him do it, okay? And here's a little bonus, guys. The recommended read. I love this book. Uh, this was uh, there's a great, great, great uh, leader in this company, uh, in this company, in this industry, uh, excuse me, um, uh, his name is uh, Randy Schroeder. I think he, I believe he's by Mana V, some kind of ambassador, uh, international ambassador for Mana V in, in the corporate side. But he was a distributor for, um, I think, uh, Agile and, and uh, you know, great, 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 great leader. And, uh, you know, he, I got this book uh, recommendation from him, and it's just amazing. And it's not just for network marketing industries. If you're checking this website out, and uh, I don't know, if you happen to come across through YouTube or my blog, this is definitely for you, also for you guys, you know, the managers, the supervisors, that, you know, to a one-minute manager, and it just increases your, you know, productivity, profits, and your own prosperity, okay? And it brings you big, big results on, you know, how to, te you know, create leaders and and, uh, and, and, and how to manage your, manage your team, okay? And it's just going to, um, and you want your leaders to read this book, okay? So I definitely would definitely recommend this book. Go buy it now on Amazon, uh, you know, get on Amazon pretty cheap, and, you uh, Get that to your downline. Get that to your leaders. All right, guys. This is the Blues Man signing off, and I really hope you guys had a you know you found this information useful. And bookmark this page. You know, come by. Keep on coming by my blog. If you're on YouTube, the you know there's a link below, and just click on my click on the post, and you can read the um, the article that comes with this uh, video. And keep on coming back for uh, for new training on on the network marketing industry and MLM training. Okay, online as well as um, offline training. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions and comments, f please feel free to, uh, you know, leave me some comments, what you think about this and uh, um, any questions you may have, and I'll definitely answer. And, uh, yeah, this is the Blues Man signing off to your success, to your abundance. See you guys on the top. See you guys on the next vid.